G'day, welcome to Pay It Forward. Today is launch day for December Masterclass and a small Christmas miracle has happened again and I have created a Christmas project for you all. Now I've pulled it back a little this month because Christmas is such a busy time for everyone. Well it is for me, lots of family things going on. So I wanted you to be able to access materials you probably already have and get this one made up before Christmas. And it is an easier, very straightforward project, but still with lots of new things to learn. And of course, it is a nutcracker. Now you all think I don't like Christmas and Christmas things. I actually don't like red and green. You wanna know the truth? There it is, it's, it's there. I've said it, I don't like red and green together. Um, but I do like all of the other Christmas colors. I particularly have always loved the Nutcrackers. You know, you all know that I like shape and form and I like really clean lines. So this little guy was absolutely perfect. Just an absolute delight to design. Although I will say that designing simple things is often more difficult than designing um, more complex things. But anyway, that's my job. So I've done that and uh, I hope you love the results. I've al I always try and dress like my project. So I'm like this human nutcracker today, <laughs> dived into my wardrobe and found something suitable. So I hope you like the brightness of it. So let's jump in and have a look at my beautiful nutcracker. So let's start with a lovely close-up of that beautiful sweet little face. Now I am calling uh, my little guy, we're calling him Tom. Now I'm naming him Tom after Carl's grandfather who was a, in fact a grenadier guard and he used to guard Buckingham Palace way back when Princess Margaret and Princess Elizabeth were little. So and he was an amazing man and just a wonderful loving man and so this is a tribute to beautiful Tom. So you can see there well, what I've done is I've kept, kept this all very much in style of a little wooden carved nutcracker. So very simple in design and styling even right down to those beautiful little black boot button eyes. Um, but we are doing some simple needle felting and something a bit different where we're felting, but we're also felting longer pieces. So that's something else to learn there. Um, and we're using again, our ball joints in our beads, but in a different way. So we're using them for holding um, and to give us some beautiful shoulders here. So there we go. He barely fits in frame. He's very tall, so was Tom. So. It works out well. Now, what I've put with him here is a gorgeous little, I guess I'll call it a sword. I've called it all sorts of things, but I'll call it his little sword or his staff, which is beautifully done with um, that little candy cane. Look, some beads. And as you can see, that's held on to by his little hand, which is a bead. So there's some simple factors with this one but really quite endearing, a lovely Christmas star on top. And then of course we make the beautiful drum because I do love the little drummer boys as well. And that is a, a gorgeous little accompaniment and it really brings it all together. You can imagine the way that you can embellish this. As always, I give you a beautiful basic pattern and, and you can take it, you, you can take it to the stars and just really embellish it. Do whatever you like. He's very simply put together, mounted on a wood block or what I've used there is a wooden bowl. And I just think he's a fantastic addition to your Christmas decor. You can bring him out every year. He can be a much loved treasure who will be passed down from generation to generation. Uh, he really is a lovely clean cut, perfect little collectible doll. So I hope you love him as much as I do. I certainly enjoyed uh, creating him as a lovely tribute to a wonderful man. So what do you all think? Do you think you're going to be able to get him made before Christmas? I'm sure some of you will. I know that some of you will be right onto it. I could even name you. Um, but I'm looking forward to seeing so many different colours. I want you to think outside the box with this one and really bring your own style into it and I know that you will. So when I uh, gave my sneaky peek on our Pay It Forward page, that's how I choose my giveaway winner each month now. And whoever guesses correctly from my sneaky peek um, what the project is, 
uh, and writes it in the comments. The first person to get it correct in the comments is my winner. So my winner this month, and I have to tell you, it was so close. And Mr. T was sitting there watching and uh, he said, oh, this is, this is, you know, nerve wracking um, because it was so close. Three people came in, bam, bam, bam. But the first person to show up with the word nutcracker was Betty Connor. Congratulations, Betty Connor. I th you're in Ireland, I think, and uh, it will be lovely opportunity for, for me to send a lovely giveaway pack over to Ireland. I will enjoy doing that, a place I would love to visit one day. Um, but Betty, I need you to contact me privately through Instagram or private message me with your postal address and your email address and I will send a beautiful pack off to you with some of my favourite sewing things. So busy time of the year for everyone I think. I am working hard on my first Lisa Pay exclusive. Um, I can't give you a time frame on that because I have to fit it in with everything else. It will be in mohair so all of you who are holding on to your mohair um, get ready for that. I'll certainly announce it. I'll try and do a chat from the patchwork chair very soon. In the meantime, everybody enjoy the build up to Christmas. I'm kind of getting into the vibe now. It's it's because of all of you people. It's rubbing off on me. Uh, but thank you so much. I love to hear from you all. Chat to me on Insta if you want to contact me. Best way to catch me is on Instagram. Keep on creating. Have a great positive creative week tell me what you're going to do with this one and uh and remember to pay all of those good things forward until next time it is huru from me